Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can edit a song in Suno. In order to do so, here we are in Suno.com and we're all logged in. And I have a track here that we are going to use as an example of how to edit. And let's just take a quick look here at what the different editing functions are. So first off, we have our primary edit, which is to extend a song. So in this case, our song is two minutes long. And let's say we wanted to extend the song past two minutes. Well, if we just click the extend button, then our song is going to show up here in the left hand side. And you can see here where it says extend from 159. So we can just do that if we want. If that's where we want to extend the song, that we can. But we can also dial this back a little bit. So let's say if we put in extend from 130. So the reason that you might want to use this is if you like the first minute and 30 of the song and you want to use that, but then let's say it falls off the rails a bit at around 130 and you think, well, I want to go ahead and redo that. Then you can just put in here 130. And let's say you want the song to end after 130. So the last 30 seconds here, you want to make sure that it goes into an outro. Uh, so then what you would want to do is here under style of music, after you have our song, the song queued up, then you might want to put in outro, or you can even put something out, fade out at end or something of the sort. The, the details here that you add is kind of up to you, but these are some kind of tried and true prompts that you can use to make sure that the song ends when you want it to. So in this case, uh, what, what I'm kind of referring to here is let's say the last 30 seconds of the song, it keeps on going, but you actually want it to end. You don't want it to keep on going. Well, then this is where you can do an extension and you can dial back the time somewhat. So that way you're only get the, the getting the extension from one minute 30. And then you're telling Suno that you want the song to go into an outro at the end. So you can go ahead and do that. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and click extend here at the bottom. And then Suno is going to create an extension. And then from what, you, what you're probably going to need to do at that point is you're going to need to take your song here, the first one that we've created, and you're going to need to take it into a DAW something like Audacity. Uh, there's many different DAWs you can play with, but essentially this is where you're going to have to line everything up. Now you can use a video editor as well. If you want to use something like CapCut or uh, CapCut DaVinci Resolve or anything like that, you can do that as well. But if you're looking for a free option, then I would recommend taking a look at Audacity. Audacity is free. It's a uh, pretty straightforward in terms of how it works. And so what you can do is you can download your songs from Suno and then bring them over into Audacity and line them all up. Uh, so then you have here as an example, we're going to bring our original song into Audacity. And then since we're doing the extension from a minute and 30, then you're going to want to edit your original song so that the new extension fits together with the first part of the song, if that makes sense. So that's one way that you can do an edit. The other ways that we can do an edit is if we click on these three little dots here, then you're going to see, we're just gonna to have to scroll down a little bit so that way you can actually see what we're referring to. And this happens sometimes. Let's see, what's the best way of getting around this because sometimes you could see here that, uh, okay, well, we can actually see the edit uh, option here just up at the top. Uh, just above that is the create option, but it's getting kind of cut off right now. But at the very least, we have what we're looking for here, which is the edit option. It's just kind of showing there, uh, sneaking through. Unfortunately, we can't uh, scroll up to be able to see more of that, but that's fine because we're seeing here what we want to see, which is our edit options. And that is to either create a song or to replace, uh, to crop the song or to replace a section. Let's go ahead and click on crop song. Okay, so now this is going to take our song and it's going to bring us into this crop screen. And from here, what you can do is says here, so select a section to keep. So if you have uh, in, in this example, let's say you have the first part of the song that you really quite like, and then the end of the song kind of falls apart a little bit. 
So what you can do is if we just click this and then we drag our mouse, then you can see here that now we have a sel uh, selected our section that we want to keep, right? You can slide these bars and kind of get them exactly where you want them to be. And then you can see also that that has changed our uh, uh, our timing here. Now, one thing I want to check here really quick, let's see if we can do this because I am a little bit uh, curious if we can do multiple sections and it doesn't appear that we can. So you're going to, it only is going to allow you to highlight a specific section of the song. So you're going to have to, uh, you know, if, if you, if it's this part of the song that you want to keep, then you can do that. And then that's going to basically tell Suno that what you want is you want to get rid of the beginning part and you want to get rid of the end part. Now I've already taken a listen to this track and I can tell you that the section that I want to replace is at about 44 seconds and all the way up to kind of the end of the song it really kind of starts to get distorted in this section. And so that's what I want to, uh, I want to replace. So here is where we would want to make sure that we want to keep this section or we want to keep it up to, uh, let's see here. We want to keep this up to about 44 seconds. So what that's going to do with Suno then is it's going to replace this section of the song. So then all you have to do is once you have decided what you're going to do, then you can go ahead and click crop song. And then Suno is going to generate a new version of this song. Now, another thing we can do is we can replace section. So if we click replace section, then this is sort of a different way that we can go about this. So here we want to replace this section. So what we want to do is we want to replace everything. Let's see here. So looks like uh, Suno is only going to allow us to replace just about a certain amount. It's not going to let us go any further than that. So then it's also telling us here that if we want to drag the selection, then we can hold the shift down. And so we can move this around. So it is somewhat limited in what it uh, can do as far as uh, replacing a section. But um, I know that it's just around uh, 50 seconds, 45 seconds to about this long that we want to replace. So that's another way of editing with Suno as well. So then you can see here that it says this option recreate section. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm just going to let's go ahead and dial this a little bit. I think we want to keep it maybe just around here. So we'll just replace this section here. And now let's go ahead and click recreate section. Let's just scroll down here really quick. I'm just want to see it looks like we do have a helpful video uh, here that we could take a look at that uh, gives us some more instructions if we need those. So if you want to take a look at that, you can. And then there's also a few more added uh, details here at the end that we could take a closer look at. Let's go ahead and do that. Go to edit song details and make sure that the displayed lyrics match what's being sung. Edit if necessary. Songs created after September 24 will have an alert if lyrics need to be edited. Okay. When selecting a section to replace, try adding extra time on both sides for better results. In the lyric confirmation pop-up, verify that the highlighted lyrics being replaced in the right panel are correct. Edit if necessary. So here's another thing is uh, what they're kind of saying here is let's say you have a song where you're getting uh, the lyrics are not matching up with what it is that you want. Well, then you can go ahead and put in the lyrics that you're hoping to hear and you can put that in there. So that's really quite nice. Now, I'm not sure exactly why it's not letting us extend it even further, but let's go ahead and try something out here. I wonder if we can just put in those details ourselves. Yes, we can. Okay, so that's great. So that's uh, going to fix that problem. And then we can use shift and we can bring it in. So I'm not sure why you can't just drag it as far, but it's it's only going to let you drag it a certain amount. So if you really want to uh, do it even further than that, then you're going to need to actually put in the amount of time and then it's going to expand as much as you want it to. So let's go ahead and uh, actually what I want is I think I do want it to go to 
Uh, let's see here. So one minute and 53 seconds. I guess it's just gonna, we gotta put that in there like that. And there we go. So now from about 45 seconds, which is what I want to the end of the song, it's going to recreate that. And let's go ahead now and click recreate section. So now it's thinking about it and looks like it's actually going to generate our option here at the bottom. Uh, we'll go back to the uh, main page here in just a moment to see if it's going to show up there as well. I assume it might, but at the very least it is generating here in this screen, which is uh, kind of nice, kind of convenient that it's going to allow us to do that. And it is going to take a moment for that to generate. So let's just give this a pause real quick and we'll be right back. Oh, there comes the first one. Let's go ahead and just hit play on that and see what the results are like. Oh, both of them are showing up. So let's go ahead and just listen to that. Okay, so that's really fantastic. Um, I could show you the original, but what I'll just let you know is that uh, it really gets quite distorted. And this happens sometimes with Suno, especially after you do uh, an extension, especially if you do multiple extensions. I notice that it tends to fall apart more so in the later parts. So this is a really fantastic way of if you love a song but unfortunately it gets distorted and you start to get what's called the suno shimmer where you get this kind of weird sound that kind of comes through then this is the solution to that you can replace a section and boom now you have something that sounds really nice and uh, of course you can always do multiple versions of it to really dial in what it is that you're looking for. And then once you find what you want, you we have our three little dots, so we can click on that. And then you can see, boom, we can download that. So from there, we can download it, and then we can bring that into our DAW, our digital audio workstation like Audacity, and line everything up, edit it together, and boom, you now have your completed song. And that's how you can edit in Suno. And that's all there is to it. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.